Hello, welcome to the channel, everyone. I am Dr. Maya with BizCrowd Media, and today we are diving into the world of CapCut to show you how you can add pictures and edit them in really cool ways. Now, if you have editing experience and want to know how to do it in CapCut, this will be good for you. If you are a beginner, totally just starting on CapCut, this will also be good for you. But most importantly, if you're looking to know how to do this for your marketing materials, like your website, your social media, this will also be good for you. So stick with me, let's dive in so I can show you how to do this in CapCut. All right, so here we are in the CapCut interface here. And if you are starting fresh on CapCut, you will need to create an account. This is the web browser. This is not the app, but they pretty much function the same way. Now you will have to create your account like I've said here. And once you are logged in, you will see the dashboard that I'm seeing here, something quite similar that gives you the opportunity to create, as you see here, a new video. And that's what we're going to do. And what you should see is create video, create image and brand kit, which is free and pretty much new now, I think. So what are we going to do? We will create a video. So I'm going to click create a video there. You should be able to see your timeline here. That'll show other clips that you have imported in here. As you can see, I've imported a bunch of videos in here. But in this instance, what we're going to do is import an image that we can then edit on the video. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is just add a video here that I have put in here. So let me just add this. And you know, if you go to the timeline, if you go under your media here and you simply click the media, it goes automatically into your timeline. That's something to take note of. So now we have this video here and we want to import a picture that we want to put on the video. Well, how do we go about that? It's quite simple. We go to the upload button right here. And then under upload, you have the opportunity to go to a folder can go to your Google Drive, your Dropbox, share upload link, all that stuff. But in this instance, I'm just going to upload a file because let's say the picture that you want to use is on your computer. So we're going to click upload file. And once you click upload file, you should be able to go to your folder to select what you want. So we'll go to downloads here. So in this instance, I'm just going to say add overlay in CapCut. We're just going to put that. There. OK, now, once you double click that, it goes into your media file usually is your first file is what I should say. And now, so you see here, we have the image here, we have uploaded it, and now we're gonna add it to our video. And now, if you remember, I said, if you want to add anything to the timeline right here, all you have to do is simply go in here and click, and it goes into the timeline. You select to click it, and then it goes into the timeline. So I'm gonna do that just here. And you'll see what happens. So when we do that, you will notice that it's been added to the timeline. So if we were to play the video from here. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you found this video informative and helpful. So you it's going to go right to videos. the image now, as you can see. So it started with the video that I had in there and then it went to the image. Now, if I actually deleted this video like that, we would still have the image in there. Now, if I didn't even have anything in here originally, and I just click that, you would see it goes into the timeline as a video. That's your image. And for about how many seconds you see here? Three, four, about five seconds, as you can see. So now we've added our image in here. There are many things that you could do, but I'm gonna show you how we can put it on our video. Cause again, if you noticed, there are two different things that we've done here. We had the video and then we had the image. Now, if I simply clicked the video again, you see it goes behind the image, right? And so the question is, do I want the picture before the video or do I want the video before the picture or do I want the picture on the video? Aha, so two different ways as you've seen here, we can actually add it here, but when I'm saying, do I want it on the video? The question is, do I want it as an overlay? And if I do, then I have to add it as an overlay. And how can I do that? It's quite simple. I could just drag it right here and put it on top. Now, as you can see, we have the clip here in the timeline, but we have it on our video here as an overlay. So those are two different ways that I've added the image in there. I've added it in the timeline. As you can see, it plays on the natural course of the video, but I've also overlaid it here on this section here. It's an overlay. So if I were to play it from here, you would see the full video coming before this clip. And right here, this would be the overlay. So just so we could see that this would be the overlay, I am going to make a simple adjustment 
so it's not all over the screen right here so let's see nope that's not the right one so let's go back this is the one i want to edit so i'm going to simply select that right here as you see now it's an overlay right which is kind of Strange that it's at overlay in CapCut. That's so funny. So there it is. That's an overlay. And so if I play the video from here, you're going to see that the main video right here is the image we've added in into the timeline. It goes into the clip and then the overlay because we've added it on top. So those are the things you want to be careful of because you could get frustrated in going where I added the image and it went into the timeline and I need it as an overlay. Well, those are the things to be aware of when you are adding your pictures into CapCut. Now, if you were wondering, can I add another image? Absolutely. You can add as many images as you want in here. And again, if you click it in here, it goes into the timeline. If you drag it, it comes out as an overlay. So here, I'm going to add another one here and you see it's just there. So whether here, whether here you have your image. Now, I'm going to show you the cool things now that you have your image in here that you can do. So let's say let's go to this image here we'll go to our timeline here a few things i could do since it's an overlay i can as you see i can adjust it i can make it go bigger smaller i can actually move it around and i can rotate it see that i can rotate it so that those are the options that i have so maybe i want to move it left right and as an overlay you have all these options too to be able to whether flip it the other way as you see i can flip it vertically i could flip it horizontally as you see that's horizontal and i could do the vertical flip as you can see it's totally what i want to do and if you see here i can also crop it you know i can go in here and then make adjustments to crop it let's say i do that and i apply you see what happens and the good thing too is i could simply go to Control z or command z depending on what you're doing to be able to undo it right here you see if i go forward it goes back to the crop if i undo it it just goes back to where it was now i can use it to fit the screen as you can see i could fill lots of things that you could do with the overlay you have it all under these options here and if you want to move it to different places in your screen you can as you can see that's so cool but now let's see also other things that you could do with the picture which is what i want to show you here and now we will go to the right you'll see here that it has basic under basic which is so phenomenal you have all these tools whether it's color adjustment the blend you could transform it over here like we've done earlier by making it bigger you could rotate it you could put it in different positions if that's specifically what you want but let's see here if you go to the color adjustment look at what we have here if we do saturation look at that it changes it we could change the temperature you could change the hue look at all that stuff so if you want to make your pictures dramatic again you absolutely can do it right here now look at the lightness when it comes to the lightness you can make it brighter under lightness you can actually still make a contrast more you can make it shine look at that so when you see all these cool videos that people are doing and you're wondering how did they get that effect on that picture well this is how you can highlight as you can see you could do a shadow these are all the wonderful things that you could do in here and look at all this under effects too you can make it sharper vignette right here where it's just centered in the middle and then the fade look at that you can make it grainier is what i should say look at all that so those are the cool things that you could do which i just think is amazing and simply you can go back and click reset to get back to the original picture the way you wanted it to be so we'll go to reset and we get the picture originally how we got it so that is just amazing if you think about it really cool now let's talk about the hso see here you have the opportunity to also change the hue you see the colors the pink in there you look at the lightness you see this right here when i'm playing with the lightness and different colors that you could choose here you'd make that more yellow if you go to green make that more green the saturation the lightness again a lot of cool things that you could do in here that is just so phenomenal and we're still working on the same image but you can see it's totally transformed all right now let's go to curves pretty cool you'll see what we'll do here so we'll go to the red one and make adjustments here look at that just makes it totally red takes the red completely out of it what about the green you know you click the green you can make adjustments makes it totally green removes the green out of it the blue look at that it takes the blue 
you can make all these adjustments here, which again, if you've been seeing cool effects and wondering how they have made that picture look exactly just like that using CapCut, well, that's exactly how. And you also have presets here, as you can see, whether it's light and dark and fade, warm, vintage, custom, all that stuff, you have it there. So those are the cool things that you could do with your images. Now we are going to go under smart tools because under smart tools, you have the opportunity to do other cool things like remove your background and auto removal will just remove it. And it takes time. As you can see, it's showing you there. But as you see, it's taken out the background right now where all I'm seeing are the images. So again, that's your photo. That's the photo we've just brought in here that we've been able to do all that cool stuff with. So now I am going to move to the next step under here, which is animation. And this is how you can animate the picture. Again, I told you there's a lot of cool stuff that you could do here. And let's see, let's say rotate out. You see what happens? Let's say rotate. You see those pictures? You say shake zoom, zoom in. Look at that. That's that picture. Moving left, collision. Look at that. Slide up, flip, slide down smoke now as you can see a lot of them are pro features so if you are exporting it you might have to have the pro account but they also have free ones here as you can see that are still so really cool so that's how you can do really cool things with your pictures and there you have it a very simple way to import your pictures in the cap cut and to make them look amazing for whatever project you have going on. I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to our channel, feel free to check our other CapCut tutorials. That'll make your life a whole lot easier. Till next time, take care.